It is officially my favorite time of year and it is the start of a new year. I always get so excited for a new year because I just feel like it's a fresh start and I love fresh starts and you kind of have a clean slate, you can set new goals and you can do a lot of self-reflection. I just find New Year's so exciting because there's an endless amount of possibilities that can happen this year and I feel like we always have the potential to make the new year our best year yet so I always feel like really excited to jump into the new year and set some new goals and I'm actually really organized about it. I love watching other people's videos on how to have the best new year, how to become your best self this new year, I just love it, I find it so motivational. I always feel like I get so much advice and like little tips and tricks and habits and stuff from other people and watching these videos. They're probably my favorite videos to watch on YouTube, like productivity videos and stuff like that. So I decided why not make my own because this is something that I do every single year. And I actually made a whole podcast episode about it where I'll go into things a little bit more in depth than this video. So if you wanna listen to that, definitely check out the podcast. But I am so excited to film this and do everything with you. So the first thing I always love to do when we kind of go into a new year is look back at the previous year and see like what went well, what went bad, what I could have done better, things I want to improve on, things that I've picked up last year that I want to carry on this year, like if I've picked up any new habits that I want to bring through, I always like to look back at the year and just kind of assess. I just love it and it really makes you feel in tune with yourself and know what makes you happy, what brings you joy, what fulfills you and what you can do more of in the new year so that is what I love to do so for me for 2022 I feel like I really worked on my health this year I've never been so consistent with like working out eating well getting to the gym regularly moving my body regularly and I honestly feel such a difference because of it I I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually enjoy working out now. I actually genuinely enjoy it. Um, it clears my mind. It makes me feel more relaxed. It's just kind of like a little bit of me time. So I actually enjoy working out, which is a huge thing for me. I also definitely focus on self-care, which is something that I've never really prioritized before. My main focus in life has always just been like work, 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 and don't make any time for myself. Don't make any time for like social plans or anything like that, which is honestly such a bad way to live life because we are not put on this earth to just work constantly and do nothing else. I traveled a lot last year, which I really enjoyed. Traveling is something that just fulfills me, that makes me feel excited, that inspires me. Whenever I come back from being on holiday or even when I'm on holiday, I always feel like inspired with work and coming up with new ideas. And I just feel like invigorated by traveling. So that is definitely something I wanna do this year. It's a big top priority for me this year. Something else I really want to do is prioritise seeing friends and family, especially my family. Obviously, since I moved to Oxford, it's a little bit difficult to see my family because my mom doesn't drive, my nan doesn't drive, my granddad drives and my other granddad drives and his wife, but it's just a little bit awkward with them coming to and from in one day. It's just a lot. Um, so I definitely want to prioritise seeing family more this year, whether I go to Wolverhampton and stay overnight when I go and get my nails and eyelashes done and stuff like that, or whether I meet my family like halfway. Um, I definitely wanna do more of that. I see my siblings a lot. I see Chuck and Lauren all the time. They stay at my house all the time. Um, but as for like my grandparents and my mom and extended family, I didn't see them as much as I would like to last year. And that's something I really wanna prioritize this year. So overall, I feel like 2022 was one of the best years of my life so far, which I feel so grateful to be able to say, um, because I know that 2022 was a really difficult year for a lot of people. Like I've seen on Instagram that so many people are like, 2022 was the worst year of my life. Like I can't wait for it to be over and stuff like that. So if that was you, I'm really sorry. And hopefully this is a better year for you. I've got a really good feeling about this year and I'm so excited about it, which is funny because a couple of days ago, I was like sat in bed, like almost crying, thinking about the new year. And I have never had such a negative feeling towards the new year. I was absolutely petrified to go into 2023. And I was like, oh my God, I've just got a horrible feeling about this year. I think it's gonna be really bad. And when I actually dug a little bit deeper and did some self-reflecting, I realized that I didn't think the year was gonna be bad. I've just got a lot of big goals this year that, I was scared of. So my word of the year is courage. I wanna try and have courage this year and believe in myself, believe in my capabilities and believe that I can achieve the goals that I have set for this year because I am fully capable of it. I know that I am. You are fully capable of achieving any goals that you set as well. That is just my little touch on that. If you're feeling really nervous about this new year or scared about entering the new year, then definitely take a look and try and figure out why that is. Is it because you've got goals? Is it self-doubt? What is it that's causing these like nervous, anxious feelings? Because as soon as I realized that the reason I was petrified about this year was just because I was scared of the goals that I had set, it's like, 
come. Don't let fear and anxiety drag you down to the point where you don't achieve the goals that you've set for yourself this year because you are fully capable, you're a strong person, you're amazing and you can do this. So with all that being said, let's move on to one of my favorite things to do when it's the new year and that is setting new goals, things that you want to achieve this year and also some new habits as well. So I have just sat down to write down all of my goals and I've got my two favorite notebooks. I actually got this one in Barcelona and it's so pretty. It was like this independent bookshop and it was just so beautiful I couldn't leave it. I wish I'd got more um, but I use this to do like little notes, write down some goals that I've got and stuff like that. I just really think it's pretty. I feel like the prettier the book is the more likely you are to use it. Um, so I'm going to sit down and kind of write my goals out but one thing that I did want to say about goals, um, for me goals and habits are like two different things. I feel like a lot of people kind of set these goals for the new year that are like be healthier and stuff like that and I feel like being healthy is such a broad thing to say that you couldn't just simply tick it off because it's like what do you mean by that do you want to work out more do you want to eat better and also being healthier is something that you probably want to carry on for life so I would kind of put that into like the habits section and break it down I go into this more in the podcast if you want to listen to that but for me if a goal of mine for the year was be healthier I would just simply write down in my habits work out more often eat cleaner food all of these things that kind of add up and accumulate together to make you into the healthiest version of yourself that is what I would do because I feel like being healthy is such a giant broad thing that it's easier to tick it off into little daily habits that you can do to make you become the healthiest version of yourself and then a goal for me is something that you can easily tick off like I've achieved this it's a really black and white thing for me a goal would be like if your goal was to buy a new car this year once you've bought that car, you can take it off. This planner is absolutely incredible because it's actually a law of attraction planner. So there's a lot of like self-reflection work in here and also asks you at the start of every single month what your goal of the month is, your feel-good intention, skills, habits to learn. It asks you your top three goals for the month, action steps to take to achieve those goals. Honestly, this, this planner is just jam-packed full of stuff. I can't recommend it enough. And then at the end of every single month, you actually have like a little reflection page where you can see what went well that month, whether or not you achieved your goals that month. I just think this is absolutely incredible and um, something you should invest in. It's not even that expensive. This and a Law of Attraction journal are the two things that I would genuinely recommend to you and then just a plain little notebook. like. And it's got a weekly planner as well, which gives you the goal of the week, asks you for your top priorities this week, mid priorities and errands and tasks to delegate this week. It's got a habit tracker at the bottom. Honestly, it is incredible. I cannot recommend this enough. Some of my goals I definitely will let you guys know about, but other ones I'm going to keep to myself. But let's get planning. I love doing this. So I have just finished writing out all of my goals and all of the habits that I want to achieve and do in the year of 2023. And like I said, I love doing this, but something that I can't recommend enough is just making sure that you stay on top of it. Like if you set a goal, check in every three months and see how you're doing and see if you can tick that goal off yet. Um, and just kind of see what progress you're making towards achieving that goal. Because if you just write it down and never look back on it again, you're just going to forget. So holding yourself accountable and definitely using a planner like this one that asks you every single month what your goal is and asks you at the end of the month whether or not you've achieved it it really holds you accountable and keeps all these things really fresh in your mind i also have so many habits that i want to pick up and bring through into the new year some of these habits are habits that i have literally had for the past four years and some of them are brand new habits so i will definitely read you off my habits because they're less personal than my goals um that is journaling daily meditating daily tapping daily i've just started this practice called tapping i'm reading this book called Tapping In by Poppy Delbridge um, and she just kind of goes into tapping and how it has loads of like benefits and how it can kind of clear like self-doubt and help you manifest things and it's something that I definitely want to practice for the whole of 2023 and see how I can bring that into my life and see how it will improve my life. Also, I want to gua sha daily. I know such a big difference when I do that. I want to scalp massage every single day. I've suffered with hair loss really, really badly. So every single night I tip my head upside down and I do like a scalp massage to get all the blood flowing. I also want to take my vitamins daily. I actually have them right next to me. They are the Glower Hair Food and also the JS Health Hair and Energy Vitamins. I want to make sure I'm taking them every single day because sometimes I do forget. I want to drink more water, eat more fruit and veg, be more organized, work out consistently, get out the house at least five times a week. I'm self-employed. I spend a lot of my time at home so I want to get out the house not just go to the gym like actually get out the house go for a walk go into town something like that. I want to do yoga once a week this is something I really want to get into um, I want to do a 20 minute tidy every single day I want to adopt the mindset if it takes less than five minutes to do it 
straight away. I am not a naturally tidy person. I'm the type of person that will just leave things everywhere. When I take my clothes off, I'll leave them in a pile on the floor. If I do my makeup, I'll leave the makeup brushes on the side. There is no need to do that. I also want to do cycle syncing. I have spoken before on like Instagram and stuff, maybe YouTube as well, about my struggles with PMDD. Um, and I also have like fertility issues and stuff like that. I have a lot of issues in that department um so i really want to work on cycle syncing and just see how i can kind of work with my body instead of against it and i also want to read two books per month um i did a lot of reading last year which i'm really proud of myself for because i'm not a big reader i never have been um i actually listen to audiobooks because reading a physical book actually gives me a headache um and audiobooks are just so much easier i can listen to them when i'm in the car i just get through them so fast and so easily when I can listen to it instead of actually having to read it. So they are my goals and habits for the year. I honestly feel like when it comes to journaling, if you set this giant goal of writing out like a full page every single day, I feel like that's too big of a goal for you to be able to commit to. For me personally, if I told myself I had to journal one full page every single day, there is no way I'd do it. I wouldn't be able to find the time to do it. I'd forget to do it. It's too big of a goal. So something I really love is my manifestation journal. I got mine on Amazon. It was so cheap and it literally takes like five minutes. It asks you three things that you're grateful for. It asks you today's intention. So like be kind, be productive, be thoughtful. My I am affirmation. So like I am beautiful, I am strong. I am confident, I am rich, I am successful, all that type of stuff. It has a little to-do list and a little note section as well. It's honestly amazing. It takes less than five minutes to fill out and I absolutely love it. That is one thing that I would definitely recommend is just to get a simple manifestation journal, a simple daily journal that doesn't take half an hour to write in. As for like actual journaling, like long journaling, I don't do this every single day. I sometimes don't do it every single week, but it's something that I do like to do at least at least once a month and i feel like at the start of the year it's a really good time to look at like some journal prompts for the year i'll put some on screen that i found online and these are ones that i've done myself they kind of ask you questions for your past year things that you want to improve on that you didn't do that well in last year habits that you want to drop from last year there are so many things that these templates ask you you can find so many on pinterest if you don't like the ones that i'm showing search like 2023 journal prompts or 2022 reflection prompt another technique that i cannot recommend enough kind of in like the manifestation vibe i know not everybody's into this but honestly just give it a go just give it a go just try it out it'll take you like less than five minutes just give it a go so basically you write a journal entry as if it is the first of january 2024 and you're going to write all the amazing things that you want to happen but write it as if they've already happened so if your goal this year is to buy a car you will write i am so happy this year i got to buy my dream car act as if it's already happened talk about how you drove to your friend's house in your new car you went in a road trip you went on a road trip in your new car you went through a drive through the first time in your new car that is what are you going to do? You're going to write as if these things have already happened. If your goal is to get into a loving, happy relationship, right? I am so happy. 2023 was the best year. I found my dream partner and we're now living together. That type of thing. Like, write as if it's already happened. I would write something like, 2023 was the best year ever. I worked with the most amazing brands. My friendships grew. I saw my family more. I was so productive. I really organized myself this year. I got to travel to so many different countries. I saved some money like I wanted to. That type of thing. And really be specific. Like, get into the nitty gritty. Like, if you want to save money, say exactly how much money you've saved and literally write as if it's already happened and feel those emotions as you're writing it like feel the joy feel the happiness imagine you do actually have your own car and imagine like holding the steering wheel and like putting it into gear and like indicating and stuff like that like actually visualize it like genuinely visualize it and feel all those happy thoughts and honestly that is one of the most powerful manifestation techniques and it doesn't even take that long and then read it to yourself regularly go back once a month and read that journal entry as if it's already happened and feel those feelings over and over and over again and i promise you stuff's about to get real with talking about like law of attraction and stuff like that i really wanted to touch on like your vibrational energy which i know can sound kind of woo woo and kind of crazy um and if you don't practice like spiritual things and you're not a spiritual person someone saying you need to raise your vibration might sound crazy but honestly i practice law of attraction and i can say with 100 percent certainty that the law of attraction does work it genuinely works i genuinely believe in it 
the things that I have attracted into my life are just insane. I have attracted so much into my life using Law of Attraction and it's honestly improved my life so much in so many different ways. I'm more successful with work, I've got more friends, my relationship with people are great, my relationship's great. There is just so much that has improved thanks to the Law of Attraction and I can say without a doubt that it works. And also one of the biggest things in Law of Attraction is raising your vibrations to kind of be on that higher frequency where you're attracting all of these amazing things to you because when you're vibrating really really low um i'm going to put like a vibrational scale on the screen right now so you can kind of see what i'm talking about as i talk about it but when you're vibrating really really low and having all of these negative thoughts you're kind of attracting all of this negative stuff to you like when you're vibrating super low your life probably isn't going that well i know that when i was vibrating really low my life was horrendous it was not good it was really really bad and thing after thing just kept happening over and over again like awful thing after awful thing just kept on happening and obviously some things are out of our control but I do think when you are vibrating on such a low level bad shit happens to you because it's just drawn to you because of your mental negative state and it's not a healthy way to be as well obviously there are so many things in our lives that are completely uncontrollable um so many circumstances in our lives that are completely uncontrollable but I think having a positive mindset as much as you can obviously people go through really testing times but trying to keep that positive mindset and keep yourself vibrating high is just such a beautiful thing and definitely makes more positive things come to you I can't believe how I react to negative situations now like now that I've worked on myself and I know that I'm vibrating on a higher frequency I react to testing things so much more like blasé about it um and i feel like that's a blessing in itself there's a really famous saying that says your vibe attracts your tribe and i feel like that is so true your vibe if you've got a super negative vibe you've probably got really negative friends you've probably got like bitchy friends gossipy friends friends that aren't really there for you people that don't really care about you around you if you've got such a positive happy fun loving caring vibe you're going to attract friends like that as well because you attract the people to you that are similar to you you're not going to have like a really nasty horrible friend when you're a really nice person um i don't have any friends that are gossipy or bitchy or super negative or unkind or uncaring all of my friends are amazing and they're all kind of on the same vibrational frequency as me which again proves your vibe attracts your tribe there are so many things that you can do to kind of raise your vibrations from going outside to doing meditation to doing yoga to exercising to seeing positive friends and family to spending time with your dog anything that brings you joy will instantly raise your vibration if you love baking cupcakes and that makes you super happy doing that is going to raise your vibration it's going to make you feel so much better what is it that you know after a stressful day that you think oh i can't wait to have a bubble bath or i can't wait to go to the gym or i can't wait to call my mom whatever it is that makes you feel happy whatever it is that you turn to when you've had a bad day and you want to cheer yourself up those things that bring you joy and happiness are the things that are going to raise your vibrational energy there are so many different things that you can do to raise your vibration and i feel like really checking in on that every single day and doing things little tiny things every single day that raise your vibe is just going to improve your life so much for me one of my favorite things to do is putting on like some of my favorite music like taylor swift and literally like dancing around my land like dancing with the dogs to taylor swift and just not giving an f and just dancing about with my dogs feeling positive feeling happy i love doing that and i know that once i've been dancing with my dogs and dancing in the lounge i'm just in such a better mood and i can physically feel that i'm vibrating at a higher frequency and i feel like that is just vital to having a really positive happy and fulfilling year Another one of my favorite things to do is to make a vision board. I do this every single year and honestly I was looking back at my 2022 vision board and I could not believe the amount of things that have happened that are just like almost identical to what I put on my vision board. I literally couldn't believe it. I was shocked. I was flabbergasted. Personally I've set my vision board as my laptop background. Um, I've got it on here and then I also have it as my phone background so I make two different versions one for an iPhone wallpaper and one for a MacBook screensaver and that just means that I'm looking at it every single day without fail and like I said when you set goals you want to keep them fresh in your mind so looking at a vision board every day and seeing what it is visually that you want to achieve this year is so so helpful and really motivating as well so the first thing i do is i obviously look at my list of goals things that i want to achieve this year and then i go on pinterest 
and find an image that represents that for me. So for example, I've got a picture of my new house on there. I've got a picture of Anne Frank's house in Amsterdam because I really want to visit there this year. I've got a picture of Lake Garda because that's a holiday I want to do this year. I've got a picture of money because I want to save money. I've got a picture of a girl in workout clothes because I want to exercise regularly. I've got a picture of a pottery class because I really want to do pottery classes this year. That's a massive goal of mine. You can 100% make like an actual physical vision board if you want to, but I just prefer to have it on my laptop because that way I know I'll look at it every single day. I like to use the app Canva and if you want to use the same templates that I used, um, I will link them in the description for you guys to take a look at. And I just scroll through Pinterest, I find images that resonate with me and I just add them onto my vision board and set it as my screensaver and honestly it is such a powerful thing to do. It's just amazing and so much fun. You could definitely make this into like a little girls night. You could have your friends around and all make vision boards. That's such a fun little spiritual motivational activity for you all to do. And you can all kind of like talk about your goals and have each other as like accountability partners and check in with each other to see how you're getting on with the things that you want to achieve this year. I honestly feel like that is so cute. You should definitely do it. This is probably my favorite part of setting goals and stuff like that is the vision board because as the year goes on as well things that I've already achieved I can kind of like tick off I can put like a little check next to it and just see how many things I've actually managed to do and it's it's really exciting seeing these things come to fruition I'm not the tidiest person but I love organizing and I love a good clear out so I honestly do this quite regularly so I feel like there might not be that much stuff in here to kind of get rid of. I try and do this like once every quarter, I would say. And if I haven't worn it for like the past six months, I chuck it. It's going. It's gone. Bye bye. It's going. So going through and just organizing things is just like therapy. And I feel like starting the new year with a clean slate is just the best. It's the best vibe. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go also clearing out your wardrobe is a really good way to either do some charity work or make some money whatever feels best to you um going and donating this charity is awesome it's probably what i'll do with these but you could also list things on depop poshmark Bok, is that what it's called um and just sell your clothes and make a little bit of extra money for the new year to either travel or even buy yourself new clothes that fit your 2023 style and along with clearing out cupboards tidying things up organizing things i also think going around your house and just doing like a little clean clearing out drawers hoovering hoovering behind the bed i know you haven't done that all year i know i literally i know you haven't hoovered behind your bed all year so just pull your bed forward give it a little hoover you're gonna be surprised what's under there and also disgusted so having a little clean as well is just oh, so satisfying such a good way to enter the new year so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful and useful anything i mentioned will be linked in the description box for you guys to check out i'm so excited about this year i've got a really good feeling about it um i'm feeling really positive really happy I'm really excited to see what this year brings for not only me, but for you guys as well. I love when you guys tell me things that are going on in your life, message me things. One of my followers messaged me yesterday telling me that she got engaged, which is just the most amazing news ever. I'm so, so happy for you and your partner. I just love hearing about things going well for you guys. So when you guys start achieving all of your amazing 2023 goals, definitely send me a message and let me know how things are getting on for you guys. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for me. I think we're going to have the best year ever. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.